Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. This is going to be kind of a segue video, not the kind you ride on. Uh, going from w one point to another, I'm going to actually introduce y'all to the new VRV Homestead. This is the new channel I've set up. Right here at our, our property, our land in Central East Texas. Yeah, we're, we're, that's where we are. And we came down to meet with the Earth Mover. He's a mover and shaker. It's been a little over a year since we, since we bought the property. We got a, a driveway kind of put in and that, that didn't turn out exactly as I had envisioned because uh, anyway, we won't, we won't rant on miscommunication. And where we're going with this is the, the driveway is going to be extended on down over there. And then there will be a very large, I say a very large, we're going to put up a post frame building sufficient in size to accommodate Trudy Thunder and a residence so that we have both a home base and the RV right there together. We're not having to shuffle stuff back and forth. But before we get to that, we're gonna get a, we gotta get it level, le more level, flattened out because there's a, there's some, there's a lot of slope. I'm gonna get our driveway put in so that we've got a flat spot because as you can see, Trudy's way off the ground. We need a level spot to park while we're doing that because we're, we're selling the house and moving into the RV. Meanwhile, I have a building purchased that's gonna go way back there in the corner for uh, temporary storage and laundry and stuff. And that kind of takes us to where, and I'm, I'm gonna show you some more of the property, why, why we really love this place. Uh, but I've got a, I had the building coming in here, let me show you. So what do you do when you decide to sell your semi-suburban home and move out to your land when you don't have anything on your land? If you're fortunate enough like we are to have a beautiful motor home, that's a literally a condo on wheels <laughs> you're pretty good but if if you don't want to get rid of all your stuff while you're full-time and you, you only have a couple of options one is find a friend that'll let you fill up their garage two find a storage facility and pay to keep your stuff on somebody else's property or three put a building put up a portable building while you build the big building. So I've spent the, I don't know, the last week or so searching, researching, and I've looked at a lot of different buildings. Barn style, gable roof. And I'm, I'm out looking at buildings today. Originally I thought that a barn shaped structure would be would be the best because you get well here let's let's open it up and look inside so in, in a barn shaped structure you get the the, the ceiling but i, I really don't want to i don't want to stack stuff that high we also have two other needs uh if you've been following the channel for any length of time you know i'm i'm sensitive to chemicals and going to a laundromat don't doesn't does not work at all so i need a place for washer and dryer and yappy works remotely so she's going to need internet access and a, and a desk to be to be happy so i figure i need something big enough like this big enough that we can set up a laundromat 
put a freezer or refrigerator and then give her a little office space. But that's a whole lot of space. Ow, that bumped my head. There's another problem. So while I getting, I was, I was very close looking at two different companies, two different brands. And I realized to make things simple, I wanted metal skin, not a wood skin structure. And mainly because of the ease of putting in some wiring. I can put the wiring into the, the rib channel on the metal. Uh, metal is just, I just felt that would be a better, better option. It brought the price down a little bit. And I was looking at two different manufacturers, two different buildings, uh, but a, a, a sticker shock, <laughs> St sticker shock. And, and I got a, a text message saying that a repo had just been brought in. And, 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 and here's what it looks like. And I said, that, that is what I want. It's green, so it kind of blends into the environment. It's got a covered porch so if it's raining you don't get wet going in and out residential door nice and wide so we can get furniture in we're 30 by 14 so this will be the new rv the rv homestead structure at least for the next year and it even comes with a toilet. <laughs> Ew. We got to get rid of that. It looks like someone had already had, has already had power, and then and of course they had the the toilet. There's some things that have got to be addressed, like air gaps to keep the bugs out insulation because we have four windows putting in a small window unit will be very simple so we can get air we'll have climate control and yappy will be most happy and when yappy's happy i can be happy so the, the plan is to put up two inch foam insulation board kind of similar to what they did here uh, but I, I don't like I'm not, I'm not a fan of what they did there but similar to that probably will not be putting any wall covering on it because the ultimately we're, we're going to hold this until we have the, the bigger structure completed and then we'll most likely sell this So let's uh, jump cut. I'm gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the land now, and I'll show you where we're gonna put this bad boy. So that's the building, the temporary structure. Not sure when we're gonna get that. We gotta have a flat spot to put it. I've had some people ask if we're going off grid, solar. No, we have power. We have water at the street. We're just going to bring that in. Probably going to put an RV pad up there for close friends when they come to visit. I'm going to walk down toward the back of the property and show you one of the, the aspects of this property that gets me really excited. So let's go see. So when we started looking for land, one of the things that I, I really wanted was a spring or stream on the on the property this is almost to the back of our, our 10 acres this whole thing is a is a big seep a big spring and as you can see we have a little water after a really heavy rain we get a lot of water back here but basically this is this is a pond waiting to be cleaned out. And there's, if I can get to it, 
there's a, one of my favorite trees is back in here so we're going to hike back in here and take a look at that That's a game trail right there. There's lots of deer and wild hogs on this in this part of Texas. This underbrush is just so thick. We got our work cut out for us. my big oak how about a, a porch swing hanging off of this big old limb looking out over the pond yeah that'll be awesome move back up to the front I'm at the north end of our cleared acre or lone tree there I think there was a burn pile buried and it killed that tree well, that's fine we're gonna take down that tree and we're gonna use material from here to level things out up there and in the in the process we'll end up with a pond here septic field is going to go over here building will run the long axis going north and south so we'll have a west facing patio yeah I love all the birds. If you're, if you're into DIY and homestead kind of videos, that, that's not what Dude, the Dude RV channel is all about. Well, there will be some, some videos, there'll be a lot of videos created here. Some will go on Dude RV and some are gonna go on the new channel, The RV Homestead. Some of it's gonna be DIY, some of it's gonna be yeah, that's beyond my capabilities. We're going to pay somebody to do it. So I'll put a link in the description and the card above for you to find the new channel. Uh, don't expect weekly content in the beginning. Be patient with me because that's going to be a whole different kind of video format for me. So we're going to watch it. This we're going to watch this raw land turn into 
our own little slice of RV homestead heaven. I'd enjoy you coming along with me. Meanwhile, we got a roll. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so very much. And for my patrons, y'all rock. Thank you. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?